Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So, in today's video, we are back on my league with another challenge. And for this video, we are going to be taking 10 of the best players from the 2023 NBA draft class, putting them all on one team, and seeing how far this team of rookies can go against the rest of the NBA. And this draft class is definitely a deep one. And a lot of these guys look like they have so much potential. A lot of them look like they can be multi time all stars, all NBA guys, all defensive guys, if everything does work out. So, I definitely want to go ahead and see if we could try to win a championship with this team. So, I did go ahead and I took 10 of the best players from this draft class. And now it's time to see if this team can actually win a championship. But real quick, before we get on with the rest of the video, if y'all haven't already dropped a like on the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already because we're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we almost there. I'm trying to hit it before NBA 2K24 comes out. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into today's video. All right, so for the lineup that we did put together for season number one, we have Scoot Henderson, Asura Thompson, Brandon Miller, Jarese Walker, and Victor Wembanyama. Off the bench, we do have Amen Thompson, Taylor Hendricks, Jet Howard, Grady Dick, and then we do have Derek Lively. Taking a look at system proficiency for this team, is anything better than two and a half? Is anything better than three? No, it is not. So we're gonna go ahead and we could stick with seven seconds. And then taking a look at the shot tendencies, we could go ahead and lower Victor down to like a 95. Brandon Miller could go down to like a 92. Scoot Henderson can go down to like a uh, he could go down to like a 75. Uh, Thompson can go down to like a 70. Same thing with him, 70, 70. Uh, we can go ahead and lower him down to like a 65. Taylor Hendricks could go down to like a 65 as well. 60 is fine, and then we could go ahead and lower him down to like a 65, and then a 65 should be good. Because I don't want everybody shooting the ball a lot. I want two main guys shooting the ball. So it will be Brandon Miller and Victor Wembanyama. All right, so taking a look at our first three opponents for the season, we do have Charlotte Hornets, then we have the Memphis Grizzlies, and then we do have Milwaukee Bucks. Really kind of nervous for that Milwaukee game, but Memphis kind of worried as well, but Charlotte, I don't really see anything wrong. So we are going to go ahead and simulate as we do lose, and we actually start off the season 1-2. and two. Victor Wembanyama with a pretty good game, 27 points, a sore Thompson, or was this a man? No, it was a sore Thompson with 12 points. Okay, not too bad. Everybody did score, but we did end up losing. Then we did win the second game against the um, Memphis Grizzlies as Victor Wembanyama put up 22 and 12, Thompson with 18, Brandon Miller with 17, and then we did lose the third game of the season. We got blown out by 23 points against Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks as Brandon Miller led the way with 28 and then Victor Wembanyama with 22. So I'm hoping this team can at least make the play in tournament. I'm really not too sure how good this team will be. Maybe we'll do a little bit better. I'm hoping we could actually do make the playoffs, even if it is a play in tournament. And I think we should be all right making it as a play in tournament. I don't think we'll completely miss it, but I don't want to jinx myself. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the rest of season number one. And I will catch you guys at the end. All right, so at the end of season number one, Trey Young wins MVP. Victor Wembanyama does win Rookie of the Year. 20 points, 9 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1 steal, and almost 2 blocks a night. Jordan Poole winning 6th Man of the Year. Giannis winning Depoy. Darius Garland winning Most Improved. And then Quinn Snyder winning Coach of the Year as they do go 70 and 12. Taking a look at the All-NBA teams, do we get somebody on here? Possibly? No, we don't. What about an all-defensive team? We do not get anybody. All rookie team, uh, we almost had a full all rookie first team of nothing but Chicago Bulls players. But we do have Brandon Miller, Scoot Henderson, Amen Thompson, and Victor Wembadiyama. And then on the second team, we do have Asor Thompson, Jarese Walker, and Taylor Hendricks. All right, so taking a look at where we finished, we ended up going 42 and 40, and we did finish as the seventh seed. So honestly, not too bad from a team filled with rookies. I kind of expected a little bit less, but I'll definitely take it as we were over 500. And then taking a look at the player stats for the season, we had Victor Wembanyama already leading the way. Brandon Miller with 17 points, Henderson with about 12, 11, 10, 10, 8, 8.5, 8. And a half, eight. Okay, so honestly, not too bad. And then also Derek Lively with about six and six. So definitely not a bad season. And these are all rookies. So I'll definitely take what I can get. And taking a look at who we are facing in the playing tournament, we are facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Not the team I want to face, honestly. Um, they do. Did they add anybody? They signed Demarcus Cousins, and it looks like that's really about it. Uh, they added Green. Okay, so hopefully we could win against this team because I do know we did lose to them the third game of the season, I believe. 
um but right now it is looking like we are in control and that's what we want to see we are up by 20 points i'm pretty sure we're gonna win this unless we choke it but no we do end up winning so we are in the playoffs and we are facing the chick uh the cleveland cavaliers as they do have did they add anybody else they added um yaka Pirtle. they added harrison barnes okay dwight powell Okay, so they added a pretty good amount of new people, but honestly, I really, I'm really not that scared to face this team. So we are gonna go and assimilate the round. Maybe we can pull up an upset. Okay, but when I'm the first seed or second seed, right, they wanna go ahead and they wanna upset me, right? I couldn't even win a game against these guys. You know, it is what it is. They are rookies, so I'm not really too worried. It is the first season, so I'll definitely take, like I said, I'll take what I can get. As we are going ahead and seeing game number one, we did drop. Uh, Brandon Miller dropped 17, Henderson with 14. Game number two, Miller with about 20. Game number three, we had Victor with 19 and 10. And then game number four, we did have Victor with 18, seven and four with five blocks. Okay, so I'll definitely take that. But yeah, definitely excited for the next season and hoping we could go ahead and maybe make it as an actual, um, we can actually secure a playoff spot without having to go through the playing tournament. But the Warriors and the Cavaliers once again are in the finals and the Cleveland Cavaliers end up winning in five as Darius Garland is your finals MVP. All right, so for the start of season number two, our lineup is pretty much looking the exact same. We do have Henderson, we have Thompson, Miller, Walker, and Wembanyama. And then off the bench, we have Thompson, Hendricks, Dick, Howard, and Lively. Taking a look at system proficiency for this team with our new coaches, anything better? Okay, so we do have three and a half stars for seven seconds, so we will put it at that. And then these shot tendencies, I'm really not going to move any. I think everybody should be fine. Yeah, I think everybody should be fine. I'm not really going to touch up, uh, touch the shot tendencies. So we do have the Wizards, the Hawks, and the Bucks in the first three games of the season. Hopefully we could win at least two of these. As we do lose the first, we win the second, and we do win the third. So we did lose to Washington by five points. As Brandon Miller dropped 31 points, as Scoot Henderson dropped 26. The second game of the season, we did end up winning Thompson with 25 and Wembanyama with 25. And then the third game of the season, we did have Victor dropping 38 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 steals. Hey, that was actually a pretty good game from him. And then Brandon Miller, you see right there. So I'm hoping this time, since we are no longer rookies, we are sophomores, I'm hoping that we could go ahead maybe fight for like a top five seed i don't really know if that's going to be stretching it but a lot of these guys do like progress really well so i'm hoping that that's they do end up progressing really well and 2k doesn't decide to like mess up but yeah we are going to go in and we're going to simulate the rest of the season and we're going to see hopefully we can make it as a top five seed hopefully we're over 500 and hopefully this doesn't backfire on me and we end up missing the playoffs so i'm going to go ahead and simulate and i'll catch you guys at the end of season number two all right, so at the end of season number two, Darius Garland winning MVP, Collier winning Rookie of the Year, Tyus Jones winning Sixth Man, Giannis winning Defensive Player of the Year, Victor Wembanyama winning Most Improved Player, and then JB Bickerstaff is Coach of the Year. All right, so real quick, I did have to go ahead and throw on my glasses. I don't know if you guys noticed. But taking a look at the All-NBA teams, did we get anybody on here? We actually did, as we do get Victor Wembanyama on All-NBA 13. What about an All-Defensive team? We do get a Sore Thompson making it on the All-Defensive second team. Let's go. All right, so taking a look at how we did, we ended up as the third seed, as we did go 58 and 24. Yo, that's a big improvement. We won 16 games more. Yo, and we were only the third seed. Cleveland and the Hawks were really good this year. 67 and 15, 62 and 20. Taking a look at the player stats for our team, we did have Victor Wembanyama leading the way with about 24 points, 10 rebounds, three and a half assists, one steal, and almost two blocks a night. Then we had Brandon Miller with about 20 and a half points, six and a half rebounds. And then we had Scoot Henderson with about 13 and a half. 12 12 11 9 almost eight six and a half and then almost five points so not too bad from this team really well balanced team and taking a look at who we are taking on we are taking on the charlotte hornets in round number one did they add anybody they added duncan robinson trey lyles tyus jones as i believe he did with most improved oh no he won six man of the year uh tht and mo bamba did they add they also added terrence man so they definitely added a lot of players but I'm not really too worried, and I don't know if I should adjust my lineup. I feel like I should, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, if it worked for, if it worked for the regular season, it should work in the playoffs. But just to go ahead and make sure, I'm going to give him 10, 10. Uh, he could go ahead and stay at, uh, actually, he could go up to like 16. 
he could go up to like 20 and then i do want to go ahead and give more to we can give it to brandon miller so taking on these charlotte hornets in round number one please don't upset me as okay let's go we do win in five i luckily got scared because they did win the first game but the first game they did win by six and then the second game we did end up blowing them out by 43 points thompson with 29 and miller uh victor webaniyama with 29 and miller with 22 game number three lamello dropped 40 but we ended up winning by 40 points jeez 28 for miller 23 from scoot henderson game number four we did win by 12 and then game number five we did end up winning as victor wambaniyama dropped 30 and bradley miller with 22 taking on the atlanta hawks in the second round did they add anybody else they added nicholas claxton they also added brooke lopez Derek whitehead okay uh did they add anybody else no not really so we are going to go to simulate please don't upset as we are moving on in five games again let's go as game number one we did end up winning by one point brandon miller with 34 taylor hendricks with 22 game number two miller with 17 victor with 16 as we did end up losing game number three we did end up winning by nine points uh 21 for henderson and wambaniyama and then game number four we did end up winning as well and then game number five we also did end up winning by 12 points not bad as we are now taking on the reigning nba champions and this team has 67 wins for the season they added christian wood they added um jamie uh who else did they add josh richardson harrison barnes to michael green okay so they added a couple of players how good is he uh honestly he's not he hasn't really been that good okay so i'm not really too worried but i don't know 67 wins we are going to take it game by game as we do end up losing the first game by 13 points it's going to be tough man it's going to be definitely tough to try to win as we do go down two games to zero okay let me go ahead and let me adjust the rotations real quick um i really don't know what else i could do i mean maybe give thompson a little bit uh we could go ahead and give him a little bit less he could go down a little bit and then we could go ahead and get one more here one more here one more and one more maybe something like this please don't go down three games to zero because i really can't afford to go down like that so we are going to go ahead and simulate it with simcast as we are looking it's like neck and neck right now as they are winning and now we are winning it's going back and forth it's going to go down to the wire as we up up by five we're up by three they're up by three and we end up blowing it come on we end up losing by four points <sighs> game number four don't get swept at least don't get swept come on have some pride have some dignity don't go uh don't go get swept don't go get swept that doesn't make sense but we are looking like it's not too good as we are gonna end up getting swept by two points and the cleveland cavaliers are going back to the nba finals jalen brown is on the lakers that looks disgusting as the Cavaliers end up winning. And I didn't even realize how good they were. They only lost one game. They went 16 and 1. Damn, that Cleveland team is definitely scary. So we do have one more season. And I'm hoping we could go ahead and make it to the finals at least. So I'm going to go ahead, set the rotation and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys at the start of season number three. All right, so for the final season here in season number three, this is what the lineup is looking like. We got Henderson, Thompson, Miller, Walker, and Wembanyama. Off the bench, we got Thompson, Dick, Howard, Hendricks, and Lively. Taking a look at system proficiency for this team, seven seconds is four stars. Is anything better than that? No, it is not, so we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. And then taking a look at these shot tendencies. Once again, I don't think I'm going to change any. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it how it is. And then taking a look at our first three opponents, we are facing Charlotte, the Heat, and then the Pacers. Hopefully, we could win at least two out of three as we do end up picking up a W and we do end up winning three of the first three games. Let's go. As we do end up blowing out the Charlotte Hornets by 44 points, Wemba uh, Niyama with 30, Miller with 29. The second game, we did end up blowing out the um, Miami Heat as we did have Victor Wembanyama scoring 27, Asur Thompson with 18, and then Scoot Henderson with 16. And then the third game, we did end up blowing out the Pacers by, what is that? Uh, that's like 24 points, I believe. Miller with 29, Walker with 16, and Wemby with 13 and uh, 13 and 18. So honestly, it's looking like we are about to have a scary, scary season as we have just blown out the first three teams that we have faced. Facing the Celtics and the Bucks next kind of doesn't really worry me because this team is looking really nice. So we're going to go and assimilate the rest of season number two and hopefully we could have a better record than we did last season. And hopefully we could try to make it to the NBA Finals. So I'm going to go and assimilate and I'll catch you guys at the end of the final season.
All right, so at the end of season number three, Darius Garland winning MVP, Jones winning Rookie of the Year, Anthony Black winning Six Man, Chet Holmgren winning Defense Player of the Year, and then Derek Whitehead winning Most Improved. Taking a look at the All NBA team, do we get? Oh, that looks nasty. Giannis on the Kings, Jason Tatum on the Clippers, that looks nasty. Uh, All NBA second team, we do have Wemby on All NBA second team. All NBA third team, we do not get anybody. What about an All Defensive team? No, we don't get anybody. Taking a look at our record, you guys are not ready for the season that we had. We just went 76 and 6. We have the best record in NBA history, and this is all with a team full of third year guys. This is actually insane. Based off those first three games that we won, where we blew everybody out, this should have been like a sign that we were going to have a historical season. But yeah, 76 and 6. Obviously, we were the best team in the entire league in NBA history. Brandon Miller actually passed up Wemby in scoring 22 and a half points. Wemby with about 22. We had Scoot Henderson with about 19. Thompson with about 12 and a half. Walker with about 12. Thompson with about 11. Grady Dick with about 11. Eight and a half for Howard and then eight for Hendricks and then six and five for Derek Lively. But yeah, take a look at everybody's overall. The lowest player that we have on here, I believe, is an 82. And yeah, that is so crazy. 76 and 6. Now I'm hoping we don't choke it in the playoffs. Because I know 2K loves to do this where like they hype you up for the regular season. Come playoff time, you get bounced in the first round. So we are taking on the Toronto Raptors as did they add anybody? They added Jones. I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not gonna butcher it. Um, a lot of these guys are auto-generated because I didn't really want to put in like real um real draft classes, but uh honestly not looking too bad it's not really looking like a scary team so we are gonna go ahead and simulate the first round as we do end up sweeping the toronto raptors okay the second player i mean the second team that we are going up against is going to be the indiana pacers and i actually think we played them in the first three games of the season eh, not really looking too scary i mean they do have actually a deep bench i'm not gonna lie they do have a deep team a lot of these guys are in the 80s but hey, we just won 76 games, so I'm not too scared as we are going to go and simulate and we do end up sweeping the Indiana Pacers. Now we are facing the Atlanta Hawks, who I believe we did beat last year as they do have Puka Setsby, uh, Jonas Valanciunas. They somehow traded for Jalen Brunson. I think they traded um, John Collins. Derek Whitehead is also on here. But again, not looking too scary because we just went 76 and 6, so we are going to go and simulate. And they actually did win two games against us. I look, he kind of got scared. So Jalen Brown is your Western Conference Finals MVP. And then Victor Wembanyama is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. So we are going up against the Lakers. Not too scared, like I said. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. And I'm going to close my eyes real quick. Hopefully, we do end up winning. We should. No problem. As yes, there we go. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA Championship. And Victor Wembanyama is your Finals MVP. Averaging about 19.5 points, 8 rebounds, 5.5 assists, almost a steal, and an three and a half blocks let's go as we did end up winning in five but yeah this was definitely a fun challenge i did not expect this team to go 76 and 6 especially a lot of these guys like i said everybody on this team is a third year player so from making the playing tournament then to making it as an actual playoff team i believe what were we we were the third seed to going all the way and making the finals and winning it as a first seed in the third season I will definitely take it. This season was definitely a success. This video was a success. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Make sure to follow me on TikTok. Link will be down below. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Peace.